If you are just staking points, then using a CSV is often easier. But if you don't have a CSV and are given a DXF, or if you like to see the line work and extra details you can get with a DXF file, then staking from a DXF is equally as easy. Here we have a DXF file containing a polyline of a building foundation. We can use the Snap2 toolbar to easily create and stake out points from the polyline. Turn on the Snap2 toolbar from the three dots menu on the map toolbar. Tap the midpoint tool and then align to create a calculated point at the midpoint of the line. Tap the endpoint tool and then align to create a calculated point at the end of the line. Tapping the stakeout soft key will add these calculated points to the stakeout list. Tap the intersect tool and then two lines to create a calculated point at the intersection of the two lines. You don't have to save these calculated points in order to stake them, but if you want to save them to your job, tap and hold in the map and select Create Point. If you want to work with individual line segments, then you can explode polylines in map settings. Another way to create points on line work is to turn on Create Nodes in Map Settings. This will create points at the ends of lines and arcs and at all transition points along a polyline. However, if you are using large files, this can clutter and impact map performance. These nodes can be staked just like any other point. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful and I look forward to seeing you on another video.